Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Perry and we are going to see one of the interesting challenges in Selenium. How do we capture JavaScript errors? So before we understand the question, let's understand where generally we see such kind of error, right? In the browser console, for example, you have a page like this. And if you right click and inspect, go to console and you will see if there are any errors or warnings that this is a place you will be seeing those right so our objective here is to capture those error and report it to the relevant person particularly the developers yeah and so what is the implication it could be a functional issue where it is not able to render some data from the server or it may not be able to send something to the server as well right and the second aspect would be it could be a performance issue as well for example if the logs are keep writing, definitely the, the volume of the server may increase, right? So this could lead to performance issue. And how do we handle this? So it's going to be pretty simple. We're going to handle using the driver object, the well-known object, plus the manage method. So the manage method, definitely it might remind you in two different places. One place you would have used this manage method for handling your uh, frame alert and windows second aspect you would have probably used this in the implicitly wait thing right so let's get started and go capture all of these logs okay so before we go let's understand our web driver a bit more right web driver let me put driver 2 just for our understanding and i need to import this if you just put control 1 then you're going to get this option import this from selenium and if you put control F3, this is going to give us all of the available methods and options. So as you can clearly see, right? So manage is one of the methods under the WebDriver object. Again, WebDriver is an interface again. So when you create an object out of this interface, then you are getting this manage method. So manage method returns the object type of class, or you can say object options object and if expand the options and you again have a logs method which is returning the logs object right so once you reach there then you will be able to get those logs yeah it's pretty simple let's go and do that so capture all browser related errors including everything so as I said, we're going to deal this with using the driver object. Driver dot manage logs. And if you put a dot, so this is going to give us available options, available methods and fields. The one we want to see that is get available logs. So as you can read, it's going to queries for available log types, right? So if I put get available log types, this is going to return us a set of string saying that what are the available log options for the driver yeah and let me save this as log types equal to driver dot thing and we need to import the set if you put control one then it's going to give you this option and then you're going to import it from the selenium util now let's find so let's print out and see what are the available options right we put sys out and let's create a for each before we do so let's create for each so this by default gives us all the members and the collection and if you wanted to print out what are the available log types right and remember this is going to launch this site maximize it and it's nothing to do with the browser again so it's going to give us available log types so let's run and see what are the available log types fine so Again, I printed the log types. It should be rather the string one. That's fine. But we understood that 
it is giving the browser driver and client Th these are the available uh, set of strings right so we are interested in the browser side of the log that's what we are leading to correct so let's reuse the same thing and this time we are going to get the available logs or errors or warnings whatever you are seeing here right so this time driver dot manage logs and if you put a dot again so you're going to get different options this time we're going to get the logs right so this is saying the log type and if you put log type as a class this class having static fields right so it is having a browser type client type driver type and there is performance profile which is not available here so we're going to use the browser type here right so the moment you complete this this method is going to return as the log entries yeah this is going to return as the log entry types let me save this as log entries and we need to import this if you put control one and you want to import this from the selenium logging right so let's explore this log entries object log entries object is having a method called filter right along with other thing we are interested in the filter which is saying that this is going to return all log entries for that level and above right let me put this filter and filters requiring a log level and if you put level and put a cursor over there there is a lot of static methods are available so this time we're going to choose all type so we need a all type of logs and you may need to filter for example if you're interested in only the info level or severe or warning and that you can choose accordingly right so this time we're going to choose all type and the moment you complete this is going to return as a list of log entries yeah and we want to save this as log entries list logs equal to this and we need to import this from java util <coughs> and log entry coming from selenium logging yeah and so our aim here is to print out all the logs available in this particular web page yeah so let's go with for each because it's in collection and so by default it gives the member as well as the collection here right so let's go and sys out the single thing log entries alone right log entry logs i think it makes up right we need to have logs and not the class here yeah so this is the collection this is a single member of type log entry right so we are done so if we print out if you run this program what's going to do it's going to launch this website page and it is going to get the all browser type of logs and filter level would be all type of things and this is going to console out and say that this is available warnings errors and information etc so let's run and see okay it seems it's completed yes so as you can see here these are two available errors on the page right 
let's go and confirm that this is the browser invoked session if you just inspect it and go to console you are exactly seeing what the errors are here right this is what is reported so this is the easy way to can capture those error and report it to the concern team particularly your development team saying that these are the available errors and you can see this is a severe type right and probably if you got any other type like example info info level or a warning level you will probably see everything here if you want to filter only certain thing you can also do by going here and then choosing a different type of level okay so i think we are done so i hope this video is useful to you